are using Notion and Super together to build your website, to launch your website, first of all, great step. Second of all, if you're thinking about SEO and you have no idea where to start, I'm going to give you a few overview tips and recommend this mini course that I created just for people like you who want to get started up and running with your site and make sure you're doing SEO to the best of your ability. All right, let's get into it. First thing is while I am logged in here, I want to go to my website. So once I'm in here, you'll see details, programs, pages, options, and theme. I'm going to do a higher level overview of the important things to look at. And if you want the in-depth of all the videos where I walk through detail by detail of how to get them set up, check out the mini course, wherever it's linked down below in the description or wherever it is. So you can get full access to everything. All right. So first and foremost, let's go to details. Uh, you're going to want to make sure your site name is set up. Obviously your URL is there, but you want to make sure your site name is set up from there. You want to make sure your domain is set up properly. Uh, you want to make sure this gets set up perfectly. There's no issues with it as your domain is the main thing that's going to help you rank. You're ranking against your domain, not specifically the content on the site. The content on the site is super important. So don't get that twisted. But <laughs> in this case, the custom domain, you want to make sure that's set up and proper from their pages. There's a lot of work to be done in here. This is where a lot of detailed work comes in. But for the most part, you definitely want to make sure you optimize your homepage to the best of your ability so that it looks nice. You'll see there's a bit of work I've done here. And then you want to do it for all your additional pages as well. And then from their options, here is where you would add code injection for say a tool like Google Analytics or Google Search Console. Down here, you want to make sure you get the favicon set up. We're going to walk through some of this favicon setup. Obviously, this needs to be on. This is like the biggest thing, it's making sure that your site is able to be indexed. And then finally, let's take a look. We took a look at options now finally is themes this doesn't really matter for seo but choose what you like uh whatever theme you want colors or fonts all of that and you're good to go so those are the main things in this video we're going to review how to get your site set up the proper way the initial step of just the back end of super and then we're going to talk about your home page so that's what we're going to focus on today so let's talk about how to get your site set up properly number one you want to make sure your domain is set up properly i briefly just shared about this but your domain is really what ranks everything every Everything is based on your domain. So in this case, I'm using davids.blog as my domain. It's the domain I own. You want to make sure the DNS records are set up properly. They make it really simple. You just need two DNS records, not 10, just two. Get, up, get that set up properly and make sure it's working. The one thing you want to check on your site when you go to it is that this little secure icon is showing up. Connection is secure. You want to make sure that is set up properly with that little lock right there and that shows you you're good to go it means ssl is set up your site is set up properly boom awesome okay so once you've gotten the domain set up and and by the way i have another video of how to set up a domain so if you need detailed help on how to set up the dns records there's another video uh, walking you through that from there let's go to options all right so in options you want to set up a favicon a favicon is going to be this little browser icon up here at the top so here for super they have this yellow background with lightning bolt and then for my site right now what it's pulling it's just pulling the icon of the home page now just so you're clear you'll see here this terms for clear thinking let me refresh that there you go you'll see that it has this like brain icon in the breadcrumb here and on the page but still my main icon my favicon is still going to be this like two layers icon here so you want to make sure you add i have not done this yet uh this is just pulling it natively from here from my home page but you could upload a favicon to your browser if you're looking for potential icons you could go to google icons um, and download one of those or you could there's tons of places on the internet to find icons to use so that is step two the site favicon step two get that set up all right so step three is going to be search engine indexing you just want to make sure this is turned on if this is not turned on there will probably be a little bit of code that super adds to your site so that it does not put it into google in this case it is enabled so we're good to go there you just want to make that's a definite huge red flag if that is disabled and you're trying to work on seo all of that now this is a little bit technical i could call it step four but we're not really going to do anything right now page properties what are page properties well if you look here it's a database so you could see here if i click terms for clear thinking at the very top of it it has tags well this is a page property and because of that it's showing it up on the page now as of right now uh with the research i did into the actual code of the page i don't know if google is actually reading this as a tagged 
property. You may call it tags and there may be tags within it, but it does not necessarily read it as a tag. When I looked at the code, it was pulling up something like, let me go back here and take a look. Let me refresh this. Okay, if I do view page source and I type in productivity, uh, let's see. Okay, this is really horrible. There we go. That's a little bit better. It's at the bottom, bottom of my page, but you'll see here, this is actually the tag for the, for the property, this UI GW. So it's not saying it's tags. Usually with a page you want for say tags or information, let me do view page source. There's probably stuff like this that shows up. So you see all this meta, this is all the stuff for say SEO purposes. As of right now, when I go back to my site, these aren't being read as tags necessarily. It's just being read as a property. Yeah, which is just not useful for Google's purposes. So as of right now, there is not a lot of control there. So at the end of the day, you could either have it enabled or disabled based on your own preferences. Finally, site search based on your own preferences. If you want it on, you could have it on, good to go. Okay, so I, I believe that's about four steps right there. Now let's go to step five. Step five is, or we could call this part two. Let's call it part two. Part two is this. Part two is getting your homepage SEO set up properly. So if I go back here to welcome to life OS and I go to pages, well, right before that, if I go to details, make sure your site name is set up. It's not complicated, but it's simple. It's there. Just set up something that is relevant for SEO purposes. If I landed on your site, like if I Googled right now, it says David Iskander's blog. I just changed it, but it says David Iskander's blog. So right here, site name, David's blog. Cool. All right. So that's details. Now let's go to pages. Now this is where the gold is. This is where the value is for your homepage. We're just going to focus on this. I am going to have a whole nother video going through all the other pages and how to do this, but for right now, the homepage. So click on that little gear wheel. First thing you're going to want to do here, make sure this name, the site title is set up properly. So what is the title of your entire website here? I'm just going to do David's blog, but you don't have to stop there. You could actually add more information. So for now, I'm just making this up as I go. You'll see productivity hacks plus design tips. Cool, fancy, awesome. All right, from there, you could go in here and create a little bit of a page description. Ideally, this is what would show up here, which is very useful. So you could have that in there. And then from there, add a site image. By adding a site image, this means if I were to text your website or add it to my Facebook page or send it in a DM on Instagram or whatever it may be, it'll show this image. So you could see here, this is the image I added. So you could do upload an image, add it from your computer. You could go to unsplash.com, pull images for free. That's where I got this one. Add it to your computer, boom, good to go. And then it has site keywords. Now. I don't really know fully the value of this. Keywords are not like as powerful as they used to be. So I have productivity tips and design tips in here. It just says separate it by a comma and you could add more. And I'm just gonna do David's blog for instance. Let's just do that and click save. And now we've added that for the homepage. Now let's go back to the homepage. One thing you'll see is up here, it says a welcome to life OS for the homepage. So I'm, I'm still trying to figure that out of how that works specifically or where it's getting pulled from. If I go back here, I don't even see that. So that is that edit SEO settings. Yep. This is all the stuff we edited, but it's still saying welcome to life OS for the homepage. All right. And let's go back here. Now I'm going to go to view page source. You'll see here some custom code I added and then everything is down here at this last line. Let's see. Okay. So it's pulling this title here. Welcome to life OS for the title, uh, meta index follow. That means yes for Google to, to crawl the website, index, follow, index, follow description the page description here. This is, remember we wrote this, David's blog, resources provided inside look to the blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. So that's all that. Twitter card, summary information, proper, the URL, you'll see here's the main URL that's showing that. So there's a bit of valuable information here that they're showing. Um, and again, the title is Welcome to Life OS. I'm actually not sure where that's getting pulled from. Um, outside of this, like if it's pulling it from that, that makes sense. But uh, I would think that it would allow me to change the site title there. So I wonder if I change it on other pages, what that would look like. Anyway, that's a little bit of the background that you probably don't, you might care about or you might not care about. Okay, so let's go back here. I didn't really talk through about how to actually write this. So you might say, well, what do I even put here? Right now, I'm not doing the best example of this, but let me give you, because I'm just doing this on the fly because uh, I'm so excited about this option, but let me give you a little bit of what to think about here. So 
For up here, this is going to show up on your main page. So it's important to be relevant, clear, and also include keywords. So include one or two keywords. If I really want to focus in on productivity hacks, having it in my site title for the homepage is a pretty interesting thing. For the description, you want to include one to three keywords. And just to be clear, a keyword could be a keyword phrase. Productivity hacks is one keyword. It's a keyword phrase. And we could say I could add that in here as well. So you'll see the site title added one to two keywords. You could possibly add in a location as well. So say, for example, if I want to do like currently in a CCA, something like that, I could do that or just do this, something like that. Uh, and then have in here one to three keyword phrases and then in the site description to have one to three keyword phrases. So once you're all good with that, you're set to go, you hit save and voila, that is saved and you have just updated that page. So if you found that helpful, please check the links around this video down below anywhere where you could then access more content because I have another two to three, maybe even four videos walking through how to set up your SEO with your super and notion account. Hey, thank you for watching this video. If you got value from this video, I have some resources for you that I bet will be helpful. Check out the link down below where you could access more resources that are free for you, for your website, for your online presence, for your design, all of that. Check out the link below. With that, if you got value from this video, let me know by hitting that like button. When you hit the like button, it tells the YouTube algorithm some important information, but it also tells me that you got value from this video. And if you want more content like this, please subscribe. When you subscribe, you'll make sure you get updated every single week. We publish a new video every single Friday. So when you hit that subscribe button, you will be notified. And with that, have a great day wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.